Hi guys, it's Maaike here. Today I'm back with a card and a technique that I called watercoloring with your alcohol markers. With your, you know, anyone. This is the card. I use my uh, Spectrum Illustrator, but it works also with Copics. In fact, I um, got this idea while I was shopping online. Jeez. Um, these are the colors I'm using. Some greens, purples and pinks. Watercolor paper, of course. The um, key is the blending solution. And a spray bottle. Now I thought the, the Nuvo one is a bit big <laughs> to fill with um, blender solution. And this is a penny black um, rubber mounted stamp. And the um, image on the package is yellow. Now I've, when I saw this stamp first I thought it was Mimosa. But the leaves are not Mimosa. And it's, it's called Delicate Florals. <laughs> and it's from 2012. So um, go for your stash, see if you have something similar. Uh, I think it works best with images that are a little bit solid. Because otherwise, um, like with the leaves, you only see the contour. And I got this off a Facebook sales group. Uh, and so, you know, I'm sorry if it's not available anymore, but I'm sure you can find stamps in your stash that are similar. Now my... Um, watercolor block has the, is, is glued so it has all these little fuzzies that kind of annoy me but they don't come off or they come off really easily so <laughs> I'm positioning it a little bit to the side so not in the middle and then I, I have to say I never done this before as I said I got the idea while I was shopping online I saw a spray um, that is supposed to reactivate your copics and um, while you stamp, so you can stamp with them. That's what the description says. And I figured that's because you know alcohol dries really quickly, but blending solution should wet it down again. So I didn't buy that um, <laughs> that solution I saw online, but I got um, a new bottle of blending solution. Mine was empty. I found out, and I'm just you know uh, randomly putting on color. And um, yeah, I, I don't know how it's gonna <laughs> look when once it's stamped, but I'm kind of um, how you say that uh, coloring like I would on paper. So you know, light and then a bit of dark and mid tone. You know, it was very, very exciting because, you know, I'm coloring this. Um, and also, I think rubber stamps are okay with this because, you know, but um, they're quite sturdy. I'm not sure if clear stamps could take the alcohol or markers, but I have not ever tried it. So, <laughs> there's my lady girl. She wants to come say hi. The, um, yeah. <laughs> I filled the uh, uh, spritzer, the small one, with a little bit of blending solution and I used it all. So there was still some water in it and I'm spraying it empty. <coughs> I was thinking I can always pour back the blending solution hey, that I got left, but I didn't have any left. So <laughs> it does take a little bit. And um, uh, this afternoon I will go to the pharmacy and get some rubbing alcohol. Um, which, you know, sadly in Holland you can't get at the dollar store. <laughs> a bottle is like 10 euros. A small bottle as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The um, spitzing. I'm spitzing it quite high up so I get a fine mist. And you see, uh, I just cleaned up my <laughs> stamping there. And, uh, yeah, fingers crossed that it works. I'm leaving it on the paper a little bit so it can soak up or transfer and look oh, it's so pretty and it really looks watercolored and the colors mingled a little bit together but I'm really happy with this so to clean it um, um, you know I think more blending solution will do the trick I will do that later and m m I thought maybe I can take another print of it I'm not sure as well how long your uh, window uh, of working window is when when you spit the alcohol I mean that evaporates 
quickly, I would say. But yeah, I got the second print. It's not as pretty as the <laughs> first one. So because um, normally I leave the uh, at one side because it's smaller, but the, the the glue bits annoyed me, so I'm going to mat it properly. So I'm cutting off bits on each side, and I chose a um, sentiment. It's Dutch sentiment. It says with sympathy. Which I think, you know, a happy birthday would also work with it. <laughs> okay, but I like the simplicity with the uh, with sympathy for this card. I'm using Russafine Black Onyx ink, and uh, I will heat set it because <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's empty. So I use quite a lot of it. And because it's a bit sympathy, I don't think <laughs> you could add sequins or stuff like that. But um, I had some of those Nouveau Dewdrops on my table. They might have been a glossy accent, by the way. I don't remember. They're on my uh, release sheet that you saw in my other <laughs> video. So I thought uh, Dewdrops on a flower might add just a little bit of interest or shine so just three and um, yeah I glued them that glue will dry up clear so don't worry and of course you can use the glossy accent right from the bottle but I think this is a very subdued card for uh, with sympathy but it also looks really interesting and like you put in a lot of hard work water coloring and you didn't so <laughs> that's a nice trick isn't it so look around your stamps and see if you can use some that you have already thank you for watching and i will see you again thursday friday i don't know we'll see bye